What's going on, baseball fans? Jeremy Laracuente here for the Baseball Banter Broadcast. We continue our series looking at the top five landing spots for the top six free agents still left on the market. And on this particular episode, we look at the case of Nicholas Castellanos. When it comes to Castellanos, this is a very interesting player who has some unique opportunities with some very different teams. But before we get into it, make sure if you haven't already done so, you smash that subscribe button down below as it does a huge service for us here at Growing This Community. And make sure you tell all of your baseball friends that this is the channel to watch in 2022. Now, as we look at the case of Nicolas Castellano and the number five team on my list for his most likely landing destinations, it is that of the San Francisco Giants. Now, yes, we've heard rumors that the Giants are not looking to make any kind of nine figure contract offers to any free agent players. But I don't think a player like Astayanos would necessarily need to go that big. I think when you look at what he's capable of doing, this is a player in San Francisco that could hit at one of the corner outfield spots or corner infield spots. That versatility is something that we saw them use with Chris Bryant. Bringing in a guy like Castellanos will cost them significantly less money. And if you go a little higher on the AAV for a shorter amount of time, I think that we could see Castellanos end up by the bay. Now the number four team on my list is that of the Philadelphia Phillies. When you look at what the Phillies are capable of doing, this is a player who could very easily fit their mold. Again, the versatility is really going to be the selling point on a player like Castellanos. Not to mention his offensive ability. If you were to sandwich Bryce Harper between Castellanos and Reese Hoskins, now you really lengthen out that Phillies lineup. I think this is a player who could really find himself fitting in quite well in the city of brotherly love. Now, the third team on my list is that of the LA Angels. Now, to me, when you look at what Castellanos could bring the Angels, it's a little bit more stability than what we've seen with the volatility that has been Mike Trout's health over the last couple of seasons. Is he going to be the same level of player as Mike Trout? Absolutely not. But having a player like Castellanos paired with Mike Trout and Shohei Otani could ease the burden and allow Trout to kind of bring back the reins a little bit and potentially stay more healthy going into the 2022 season. When you add and you lengthen the lineup, Mike Trout doesn't have to do so much to carry the Angels roster. When you pair a player like Castellanos with Shohei and Mike Trout, you have a very serious threat from the LA Angels. Now, when we look at the number two team on my list, there were already some rumors of a potential connection with them and Castellanos, and that is the Miami Marlins. Miami is going to be a team that is going to sneak up on some people in 2022, in my opinion. During the shortened 2020 season, they really surprised a lot of people. They regressed a bit in 2021, but I think going into 2022, they're going to have a bit more of an edge and a bit more hunger to them. Bringing in a veteran player like a Castellanos who has versatility, but also can be a presence in that lineup and also help some of the younger players develop their eye and their focus at the plate, this could be a very valuable signing for a Miami Marlins team that is up and coming. Castellanos could be a very big sign and a very big move for Miami heading into the future. Now, my number one team and my most likely landing destination for Nick Castellanos is that of the Boston Red Sox. I think when you look at what Boston is going to be doing in the 2022 season, they're going to be competing. There's no doubt about that. When you add a player like Castellanos who has a hunger, a desire to be victorious, and you pair him with a very gritty team that is the Boston Red Sox, players that are looking to be very similar to their manager and chasing after the fire and the passion that Alex Cora has, I think Castellanos fits that mold. And when you put him in a lineup with Rafael Devers, Xander Bogarts, JD Martinez, this is a player who's going to fit in in that grinder mentality just perfectly. But again, let me know your thoughts on this down in the comment section below. Let me know where you think Castellanos' most likely landing destination will be. If you disagree with my list, let me know that as well, and we will discuss it further in the comments. I want to thank you guys for tuning in to this particular episode of the Baseball Banter Broadcast, and if there's any video suggestions that you guys have, let me know that down in the comment section below. As the 2022 season continues, there will be a lot more content coming from this channel. As I said, this will be your new favorite channel for all things Major League Baseball in 2022. So I will catch you guys with the latest news, notes, and my personal thoughts, theories, and opinions on the game of Major League Baseball. Peace.